Hi everyone, here as I'm in. Welcome back. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to retrieve the data from the state 12 sensor uh, to your Arduino board and uh, finally uh, receive them in the, the terminal uh, in your PC. So let's start. Okay, well, in this uh, uh, scenario, uh, first I I mm, tried to interact with the uh, STI-12 uh, sensor via terminal tool uh, and uh, a USB to TTL converter but uh, unfortunately it is not possible it seems because uh, the, it to receive the data it needs obviously uh, some pull up and pull down pins and some delays interrupts to be possible to interact with the uh, um, SDI-12 sensor based on the, its user manual as you can see in this uh, user manual for example we have a Centec uh, SDI-12 uh, drill drop probe uh, um, user in our scenario and uh, um, in there is a, a software uh, which is possible to install it on your uh, windows uh, its name is Pro Configuration Utility, and you can see uh, that the sensor uh, is uh, sending the data to this platform. And what is, uh, for example, the, the sensor address, as you can see uh, mentioned here. And uh, then you can uh, start uh, your uh, data transmission using uh, Arduino IDE. Uh, for example, here, as you can see, we have this. Uh, uh, values uh, and uh, for the air and for the water and uh, they are the sensor data so I detached uh, this cable and uh, I attached the USB converter to the sensor and via this uh, Proof Configuration Utility Program and select the correct uh, port I connect to the board uh, to the um, SCI-12 sensor and able to receive the data as you can see there are these uh, data from the sensor are visible here also the address is uh, visible here and uh, yeah just this and uh, you can see it has been connected correctly in the next session you need to uh, find a proper uh, SDI-12 library for Arduino and the most one of the most famous uh, libraries is uh, uh, Enviro DIY and in a github page uh, there are some examples and uh, uh, also the necessary libraries that are uh, mm, helping helpful to interact with the sensor after uh, downloading this uh, library on your PC you need to uh, extract it and uh, give uh, the pass uh, to, to your Arduino ID then uh, you need to start your Arduino ID and uh, there is a point that you need to uh, start your Arduino as a root for me it works because it's uh, in just in a root mode mm. now I start Arduino IDE then uh, I need to uh, insert this library to Arduino ID put uh, this uh, zip file in the, the 
folder related folder that I find it easily so I put it in my Arduino ID in to be reachable more easier uh, so I go to library include library and uh, add zip then Arduino okay I put it in the root Arduino uh, the zip file is here I select it and uh, choose the OK now maybe because I have been uh, added it before uh, I have this message so don't worry you add it uh, in this way and uh, then start your uh, other um, process then uh, we need to uh, yeah I mentioned that uh, the, the, the proper because uh, some of them doesn't work uh, normally or maybe there are some errors in uh, in their, in their uh, libraries due to your uh, specific STI-12 depend on the STI-12 uh, sensor that you have but uh, the most proper that I found uh, it was that I shown you uh, in the previous page okay then uh, we need to change some uh, mm, part of your code in order to uh, uh, receive the data now we need to uh, check the pins uh, of uh, your Arduino here I use the Arduino uh, uh, IoT Nano 33 uh, so in this map I need uh, the ground and uh, 3 volt 3.3 volts and uh, I attached uh, my uh, signal to D2 which is here and uh, then I need to change uh, some parameters here uh, first I open the simple logger extract uh, the library and uh, open one of the examples for example simple logger and uh, open it and change the code in your Arduino ID so I go to file open and uh, I extracted the library in our, uh, this folder and the examples uh, simple logger and open this one can close the previous one so I have connected to data pin 2 and uh, I have uh, used uh, the board power so I don't need to change anything mm. here as you can see the wires uh, Based on the colors, as we mentioned uh, here, uh, three colors. So the three colors has been uh, attached to the Arduino. takes some time to uh, receive the data from the sensor so we will wait there are some uh, information sensor address, protocol version, sensor vendor, sensor model, sensor version and sensor ID which are in the next line you can see and the data uh, retrieving is started from here time uh, the columns are times elapsed 
uh, sensor address is the, uh, is the measurement time number measurements real measurement time measurement one two etc we have uh, received uh, one two three four five six measures from our sensor state of sensor okay there are some nodes uh, during the um, executing the scenario i uh, involved with them sometimes the bootloader of Arduino uh, didn't work and again I uh, had to for example to solve the problem I uh, uh, again uh, uploaded another sketch uh, a simple sketch like uh, the blinking uh, LED to to reset the board or reset the bootloader and everything uh, again come back uh, and then I, re I re re just uh, restart uh, my uh, experimentation and moreover sometimes also I was uh, involving with uh, the port uh, here uh, for the um, Arduino Nano 33 IT it was not com I don't know it, co it couldn't become be reachable or realized by the Arduino ID but by by visiting uh, uh, several times or maybe again in another PC I solved this problem and uh, another mm, thing that I was involving was uh, the instead of uh, the voltage 5 volt which uh, uh, in the uh, Arduino there are two uh, power pin 5 volt and 3.3 and uh, here uh, I was uh, and also in the user manual of the STI 12 we mentioned that it works uh, in the range of uh, 3.4 to 16 volt well, while uh, I could receive the data just uh, with the 3.3 and not the 5 volt and uh, finally it is necessary to reset the board after you uploading the code maybe sometimes it needs uh, a reset to start data transmission I also changed the address of the sensor to Mm, be mm, more visible in, in the payload address because the, the sensor uh, address will stick to uh, to the uh, measures that it received it sends uh, to, to, to your uh, terminal and uh, there is no need important thing again I remember there is no need to change any parameter in your uh, baud rate or uh, in your uh, in this part I mean the setting of your uh, uh, terminal tool here I use the, the Arduino IDE terminal which is open from serial monitor and uh, you need you don't need to open any other terminal tool separately and finally there is a note I uh, found that uh, if you decide to attach a several uh, STI-12 sensor to one Arduino board uh, maybe it is not possible to use all of the boards which are uh, uh, in this uh, I mean from D2 to D12 and uh, because of the uh, use of pin changing traps uh, there is another note there is no need to change any delay or uh, any time delay or timing according to your specific manufacturer sensor type for example you can see some delays also are exist in, 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 in the simple logger example it is no need to change any parameter here it will it should uh, read your data very easily 
if you enjoyed uh, this video or uh, it was helpful for you please uh, subscribe to our channel to motivate us for producing another uh, useful video for your uh, projects too thank you very much and have a nice day good luck